it's one of those things then where it's like, I'm probably not going to try to fix something that's not broken. Right. And you're pretty diligent about your supplementation mm-hmm. and things on. Yeah. Lines. And I mean, I, I, I definitely am not afraid to salt my food. You know, most of my food is conducive to putting salt on. Uh, so, you know, I'm probably getting quite a bit of that stuff just in my daily, day-to-day nutrition too. Do you have specific salt that you like? Do you use Himalayan? Do you use sea salt? Like, what do you, what do you like to use? Yeah, I like to get sea salt. Uh, lately, I've been using uh, this stuff called Redmond's sea salt. They they get their salt out of like, uh, it's, I believe it's in Utah and Salt Lake. Oh, okay. And I, I don't know like if the, how accurate or whatever this is, but like they, I heard that if you can get an inland sea salt, it's better because it's not like, uh, it doesn't have potential, as many potential toxins that you're going to find in like ocean sea Mercury, salt. Mercury, things yeah. along those lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what the, the idea about Himalayan sea salt is, mm-hmm. right? Because it's no real fucking sea in the Himalayas, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, what? I mean, what, is it called Himalayan sea salt, or am I just making that up, or is it Himalayan salt? I think it's sea salt, right? The yeah. P- the pink Himalayan sea salt, right? Yeah. But how was it sea salt? Explain that. How does that work? Was it an older sea? I wonder like if that's like, what it is, and it's it's, salt. it's just like these big salt. Oh, it is just right. salt. Okay. Oh, it's just oh. Himalayan salt. No. It both comes up. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard it. Like an old sea that's no longer there, and they just have the big salt deposits. Right, over. like that's what a lot of Montana is the great western in, inland sea, mm-hmm. you know, like millions of years ago. Mm-hmm. Like they find seashells in Montana. Yeah. It's just fucking bonkers. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I was I was in uh, Utah earlier in the year. I can't remember where we were, just out of Salt Lake, and apparently that used to be on a underwater too and like they'll find like shark teeth and stuff like that around there like and it's you're up on this like trail and they're like there's no water in sight think, <laughs> think about that next time you see some asshole that spend 10 million dollars on a house on the beach yeah like, <laughs> like what makes you think that's gonna stay gonna, there man gonna pay, pay for that eventually yeah that is not gonna be here <laughs> something's gonna be different in the future uh, it's always been that way like there's no permanent like place where the water is or the water isn't yeah it is funny how we think of that though where it's like mm-hmm. we see the map now and we're like oh okay this is just how it is and so, yeah mm, maybe not <laughs> well look at pangea yeah. you know <laughs> things change pretty goddamn radically mm-hmm. what's up jamie i don't know the accuracy of this but i just found this okay himalayan sea salt is a gourmet salt with a slightly misleading name it doesn't come from the himalayan mountains oh jesus mm-hmm. and it doesn't come from a sea these motherfuckers <laughs> however it's definitely a sea salt so it's not a total misnomer. Himalayan salt actually refers to exclu- ex- exclusively to Pakistani rock salt. Hmm. Huh. That used to be sea salt hundreds of millions of years ago. So why don't we call it Pakistan? If I was Pakistani, I'd, <laughs> I'd be, be mad. Pissed. Yeah. Like these motherfuckers <laughs> are stealing our shine. When a sea spreading over the region dried up, it was covered by geological shifts, leading massive deposits of salt scattered throughout the hills. Odd name aside, Himalayan salt has a lot going for it. It's tasty, it's pink, and some even claim it has healing pro well, those fucking healing properties, assholes. Those are the people that like crystals. Yeah, we got that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. a big Himalayan salt rock right there. There you go. Yeah. Lick, Feeling low, I'll just go lick that. Lick I guess. that sucker. Yeah. <laughs> has anybody licked that yet? Someone must have licked it when we weren't looking. Yeah, yeah I, I like Himalayan salt though. It's, it mm-hmm. it does. It's nice. But like for cooking, like for cooking meat in particular, I like kosher salt because it's yeah. got the big, big flakes. The flakes. Yeah. yeah. What's the when when you put the big flakes on there? Does that help like retain the moisture on it? Or? Allegedly, okay. I don't know. 